Hey folks, uh, Jim Taylor here. I have another little video I'm going to try to do pretty quick here today. Um, it's going to be on the Lychee app. This is going to be a beta version that I've been testing for the Mavic Air 2. And so far it's been pretty good, but I haven't tested it since the iOS update uh, to iOS 15. And I did get an update for the Lychee beta version that's supposed to work better with iOS 15. So we're going to see if there's any differences. The main thing I'm going to focus on will be the waypoints. That's what I like about Lychee. Uh, it's something you can't do in the DJI Fly app. So we're going to take a look at that. And if you do have if you would like to see some of the other features that are coming um, for the Mavic Air 2 on the Leechy app, just drop a comment below and uh, I'll try to put out a video with some more features. But today we're going to focus on the waypoints and we're going to see how that works. So let's take a look in our app, the Leechy app. So the first thing I need to do is get up in the air and we will see how we can set some waypoints. So here I have the small pond that's right down from me. And what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna circle that pond with waypoints. I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see if we can do that. So we can make our other map bigger. And we can take a look at this pond. Up here um, on the, the top left corner, You'll see FPV, click on that, and it gives you all the options. We're going to go to Waypoint. Okay, and then in the settings, over on the right, I mean on the left, one, two, three, third one down on the left, we're going to open that up. And let's see. So on the heading, we're going to say, we're going to click manual because I want to be able to uh, control my drone as far as the yaw while it's, um, in, while it's flying the waypoint mission. So um, on the finish action, I'm going to select none. I'm just going to let it stop when it's done where it's at. Um, you could click return to home, just land where it's at, or it could go back to the number one position. Um, you can do straight lines or curved turns. We're going to try straight lines. Um, cruising speed, we're going to set that at about, I'm going to say 9.8, let's say 9.10.1. Well, it's not, it's not a very big pond, so I should probably go around seven, seven miles an hour. Okay, max flight speed. We don't want it to get over 10. Nine point eight, ten point one. All right, let's see. Photo capture interval disabled. Um, I'm going to do all that manually. I may or may not even bother catching anything. This is just a test of the okay. We've got all that set. Now we can close this, and in order to do our waypoints, it's pretty intuitive and easy. 
let's say we want to start I'm gonna just push the screen and you'll see a waypoint pop up instantly okay this will be waypoint one and it's at 98 feet but let's change that I want to make sure I don't hit any trees or anything so let's go to about 150 150 feet then I'll use the preset the cruising speed don't have the curve we can change the size of our curvature so as to make sort of a circle out of our waypoints um, I believe this would also be handy if you wanted to set up a specific speed and route and curvature for light painting. Uh, I may do a future video on that. Um, and let's just leave it like this. Okay. Close out of that. Okay, now let's say we want to go to the right. We can put number two here and it'll automatically stay at the 150 feet. Now if I wanted to change that, I could change it and the drone would drop or raise on its way to the next waypoint. Number three is here. I'm going to say number four is here. five six we'll throw a seven in here just to make sure I don't get over the water believe it or not this pond is like 40 feet deep so wouldn't want to lose it <laughs> and this is a beta version that I'm testing so all right we'll just bring it back to about here for number eight be close to number one okay and we have that set now we can push play and it can start it's going to go over to waypoint one it's going to adjust itself to 150 feet now the good thing is while it's running it's course I can run the camera any way I wish I can tilt it down I can yaw this is a good way to get some cinematic footage is by having the drone do the flying while you're focusing on a point of interest or some good footage um, I see there's a cow out. I do have a pasture over here close to me. Then we're just letting it fly the mission while I am rotating the yaw and we can also switch over to record while the mission's playing. We can record it anytime we want. Let's just say I decided I wanted to start recording here and There's a cow. You can also put your finger on the screen and you can yaw the camera gimbal up and down, left and right. Just control it with your finger.
and now we've reached the end and it stopped at eight so it works pretty good um, I'm going to manually bring it home. You can point towards home real easily. Bring it right in. Let's see how accurate our landing is. Let's, um, back to normal and push go home and we'll let it land itself I may have to guide it a little if it doesn't come right down on the pad I noticed in the DJI fly out it's not incredibly accurate So we're bringing it down. Looks like I may have to adjust it a little. Yeah, it's going to be off a couple of feet. <laughs> and we made it. Just a little off. So that was just a quick look at the uh, the Leechy app, the beta version for the Mavic Air 2. I also have a Mini 2 and I'm hoping pretty soon that uh, they'll start developing the beta version for that so I can test it. I'd really love to be able to do some waypoints with the Mini 2 as well because that's usually the drone I use to travel with. Okay, that wraps that up. Um, very brief video. Just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Let you guys know what to look forward to with the Leechy app when they get through with the beta version and put out the version for the Mavic Air 2. Uh, if, uh, as I said earlier, if you guys are interested, uh, drop me a comment below and I will add some more details about the capabilities of the app. And uh, that's all. Hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.